One of the best American wrestlers, Pat Downey, made his MMA debut on Friday at Bellator 284, and it was dominant. He evaporated his opponent. A public service announcement to all 185 pounders. If you let this guy get his hands clasped in his favorite grip, you might as well be at Six Flags because you are going for a ride. If you told me Pat Downey was the strongest middleweight in mixed martial arts, I would have no problem with that. The most dominant jiu-jitsu competitor on earth Gordon Ryan was thrown around like a child when he accepted a wrestling match against Pat Downey. Ryan, shucks by. Inside control, immediately shucks by, gets to his back, tries to roll through. He'll get two for that, two for that, so that'll be nine. He got his opponent down within seconds. You could see Pat was thinking about mounting right away. He said at the press conference, he does not want to be one of these wrestlers who just holds people down. He wants to get to dominant positions. He's either punching you or he's submitting you. I like that style for him. Pat displayed a very powerful head and arm choke. He put his opponent's shoulder in his opponent's artery and Pat used his bicep on the other side to restrict blood to the brain. You only need about 30% of the blood cut off to the brain to get someone to pass out. His opponent decided to stay conscious and tapped. That was an impressive debut. Now, I've seen some people complain about the matchmaking. They're saying, well, you know, of course Pat Downey was going to win this fight. It's his debut. Pat is 0-0. This is how you bring somebody up. Not everybody has to come up like Aaron Pico did fighting veterans right away. Pat Downey was 0-0 on Friday. Now he's 1-0. Let him work his way up. Let him take his time. And about one or two years here, then let's see some phenomenal matchups with Pat Downey. He's saying he could do that to a lot of 185ers. I am interested to see just how many. And the opening chapter of the Pat Downey Show here in Bellator does not disappoint.